Oh, you're finally here. Then let's get going. The area words for our destination are Delta Great Cursed In-Laws. What? The old hag's coming too? Well, because there's no guarantee we won't come across any danger. Huh. You coming? Hurry up and invite me already. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome back to .hack GU. Uh, apparently, we're going with Pi and Kuhn to learn about this avatar thingy, the weird puppet that fights the bugs in the game. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, do we have any... Okay, no. I still only have Galeblade as my art. I just had to check. Oh. Syllabus and Gaspard are offline, and Adelie's busy. Alright, that's fine. Kuhn and Pi. Ooh, Pi is a tribal grappler, and Kuhn is a steam gunner. So many new classes to learn about and see how they function out in the world. Alright, we're just gonna go. Let's just do this. We got all these other areas that were mentioned on the forums. Doesn't matter. I want to summon an avatar. Let's go learn how to do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, it's going to be great. I'm going to have a giant avatar. All right, we're here. We're going to crush Triedge. So, let's get this started. Tell me, how the hell do you summon an avatar? You really are a brat, aren't you? Is that how you ask someone to help you? Your boss is the one who put me in GU. Shouldn't you guys be asking for my help? You damn! How dare you speak of Master Yada like- Okay, okay, that's enough. Listen, we didn't come here to fight you two. I know that. Yada already told you, but let's recap. Our characters were originally created by CC Corporation several years ago as part of a project. That's what the epitaph users are, right? So why does this make our characters so special? That's a CC Corp secret. Non-disclosure agreement? Actually, I don't know the answer to that. What about you, Pi? <sighs> anyway, epitaph users are characters that have the ability to use avatars. To put it roughly, it's kind of like a transformation of your character data in the game. The power of an avatar can be surmised as an alteration of data. Altering data? You mean data drain? Yep. That's one of the abilities an avatar has. Try edge use data drain to put me back to level one. So, he's an epitaph user too? But wait, he didn't use an avatar. Then what the hell is he? Man, I'm getting confused. By activating their data-altering abilities, Epitaph users are able to gain powers that far surpass the parameters included in the original game design. But that doesn't mean they can do anything. There are certain restrictions governing Epitaph users as well. Soon, you'll come to understand that. So to summon avatars, I just have to understand those rules? Basically. How? It's right here. Huh? Inside your heart, the player's own feelings and willpower are the origins of avatars. Yeah, right. Epitaph users are still just characters in a game, though, right? How does a bunch of binary data get influenced by feelings and will? Epitaph users' characters are different from normal characters. Different how? We're linked to our characters, not just through our controllers and goggles, but through our hearts as well. Haven't you ever felt something like that, Haseo? When would I have felt that? Wait a minute. What the? Something is. Something is starting to. It's. It's growing. 
Let's hurry up and begin your lesson. Begin? You want to learn how to summon your avatar, don't you? Of course. Then, we'll battle here until you get it. Huh? Battle? Yes. Battles are the quickest way for you to sharpen your consciousness, and that will help you to awaken your avatar. Huh. So basically, you guys don't really know the proper way to do this, do you? Uh, you've got us there. For Pi and me, the entire process was more like an accident when we awakened our avatars. But that accident was fate. For now, let's fight this field's boss. Ooh, boss fight. Where is the boss? Oh, we also actually have the entire map because it's one of those. So that's the boss all the way at the end there. Looks like there's four treasures along the way, though. And who knows what else we can fight. We can also look out for Mecha Grunty. And any Chim Chims that we can hunt down and kick to death. Uh, are these new things? Yeah, goblin mages. Ooh. This will be quick. Oh wow, these are a lot stronger too. Yay, Rengeki! I like the crosshairs that we can see from whatever Coon's attacking. Oh, didn't quite get a red gecky there. Also, holy crap, they are a good bit ahead of me, level-wise. Jinx main. Also, have we... I haven't been keeping up on my equipment. Is there anything new that we could equip? No. Yes. Can't quite equip the rough shell yet. Um, the damp armor has anti-fire. It's not actually, like, better armor at all, but it does have a skill, which could maybe be useful. Oh, right, and I wanted to give this to Adelie. Unless this is another one. I don't remember. Did we give one of those to Adelie? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. I don't need heal skill, uh, SP cost reduction for myself. Ooh, a wizard seal. What on earth are all of these things? We customize you? What do you do? I could put, like, poison attack or something on my weapon. Don't know if we need to do that. Um, Jinx Bane. Oh, Jinx Bane removes curse. That's kind of cool. And nothing to put in our loose, or uh, our simple bracelet. Oh, and I can also only equip heavy armor. I can't actually equip the lighter stuff. Interesting. <laughs> Warrior seal lowers an enemy's attack. Wizard seal lowers an enemy's magic. We have fairy orbs to see the map, but we already have the map right now. Coupons. Sorry, just it's been a little while since we've actually looked at all of our gear and whatnot. Feel comfortable with that Here's though. I think we're good. Oh wow, it lived through my Rengeki. That's new. Oh, this is great. Oh wow, it looks like Pi has some sort of healing ability. Can we actually look at what they've got going on? Do, 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 do. Um, would it be status? So, Kuhn has water attack on his bayonet. He has an absorb guard, so he takes less physical damage. Simple bracelet. Tiger Fist, she has fire attack. 
extra HP and a simple necklace. Can I... No, that's it. We can't look at their abilities. Somewhere we can. Skill? Ha 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 ha. There it is. So... Uh, I can't see what they do, but he has Thorn Shot and Thunder Spark. That's what Kuhn has. Pi has Rapid Attack, King Hammer. She doesn't have a healing ability. Oh, she must have used a healing item then. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. I still see no Mecha Grunty. We will have to keep our eyes peeled. Here's our chance. I don't know if there's going to be a Mecha Grunty here, but if he is here, I want to find him. Lizard Hunter is also a new thing, by the way. Oh, so many Rengekis. Yes! It was adequate. Alright, do we have a full... We almost have a full, uh... Morale bar. That's exciting. That means we'll be able to use an awakening against the boss. What is needed to conjure an avatar? Damn, I just don't get it. Um, let's fight these before we get the chim chims out. Oh man, we could do like a double Rengeki. Nope. Rengeki thing is already gone. Okay, who's next? Wow, I'm getting a crap ton of experience here though. This is great. Ooh, chim chims, kick them all. Kick every chim. All chim must be kicked. So much chim. Nope, can't interact with that again. That's okay. We'll go up here. That's okay, we'll go over here and break a barrel. Now we'll go up here. Oh, he saw me. Keep walking, little Gabo. You're not getting away. Oh, I love doing all the Rengekis. Oh, and we comboed with Pi, That's so we got an extra, extra bonus for that. <laughs> oh, there was nothing up there. Uh, we're... Okay, let's go down and get treasure. Oh, there's Mecha Grunty. We found him. He's here. We were correct. This'll be quick. I love Mecha Grunty. He's adorable. I want one so bad. Not a Rengeki. Okay. Dang it, I'm too strong to get all these Rengekis. Alright, treasure. Mecha Grunty. Oh well, wonder if I have enough chim spheres for it. Course unknown, fuel insufficient, function shut down, emergency landing, passing life form detected, begin fuel request, beep, hey bro, be a bud, give me some chim sphere please. I bet you this time he's gonna do it. He's not gonna crash. He's not gonna explode. Nope, he exploded. So the thing over here, what is this? Oh, lucky animal. Oh, you're mine. <laughs> what? 2,000? What, what, what? That's crazy. Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh, I just want to go find those things. 
That's the best way to make money. That's so good. Oh my gosh, we're so rich. Also, I'm about to level up again. Man, you level up so quick in this game. I had forgotten about how quickly you can just fly through all the levels. Own shells. I do miss riding around on my grunties, though. Not that I did it all that often, but it was fun whenever it happened. Your guard's down. Unless it was a race, then it was not fun. Then it was all business, and like very miserable business at that. <laughs> Yes, Ringeki. So good. Alright. Oh, and there's a lot of barrels to break, too. As much as I love everything about these games, the Dot Hack GU games in particular, I do kind of miss being in a dungeon, like in the first four Dot Hack games, and going into a room that just was full of, like, breakable barrels and crates and things. You walk in, and it's like, oh, Here's 20 crates that you can just destroy. I do miss that. It was kind of cathartic. So do we recover SP over time? Like, Pai is at 12 right now and Kuhn's at 22. If we kick some more chims... Nope. Alright, well, Pai, or, uh, Kuhn went up to 23. I saw that. Can we kick the tree again? No. Okay, so we do recover very, very slowly over time. Is our HP going up? Coons at 211? I don't think our HP would go up. That seems silly. I'm not going to wait at the tree anymore. I am bored. Need constant stimulation. Need to learn how to summon my avatar. Haseo, get on that. Haseo, why are you so bad at summoning your avatar? Just fighting countless battles will allow me to use avatars? I don't think that that's how that works because I feel like you would have done it during the eight months you were playing and grinding up to like level 133 or whatever Your guard's down. you know just call it a hunch I feel like you would have done it then unless you require being data drained in order to activate your uh, avatar in the first place And that's almost another level up. Another fairy's orb. Oh, look at that! Another Chim Chim King! Oh, you will be kicked so many times. Ten. You'll be kicked exactly ten times. Which is so many. No crown, though. We've still only ever got the one crown. From doing the, uh, the actual mission to kick the Chim Chim King until he gave us a crown. <laughs> Alright, oh, you're just kind of free-floating goblins here. I need a sneak attack, though. Here's our there we go, look at that, and I knocked all of them over. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, so we could have easily gotten a full morale gauge, used our awakening, and then refilled it again, I think. Okay, who's next? I feel confident saying I could have done that. I did not do that, but we could have. And then we still would have had a full awakening bar in time for the boss. That's okay. Damn it, nothing's happening. What am I doing wrong? And so you're not using your heart. Oh, look, it's one of the weird tree things. The crushing tree monster. We learned about you. But how the hell am I supposed to activate the power? Try to figure that much out for yourself. Keep the image of summoning an avatar in your mind. Okay. The image of summoning an avatar. Summoning an avatar. 
I'll summon you, Avatar. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Haseo? Hey! Huh? Don't be careless. It's the crumple tree. <laughs> this is it! Alright! I'll finish it! Yeah, beastly awakening! Oh, we're so strong. Completely unnecessary, but that's fine. Well, that's that, I guess. A dry robe. That doesn't sound very useful. Haseo, are you doing okay? Hmm? I said shut up! I'm concentrating. I will summon it, so just shut up and watch. Hmm. Haseo, you have reached your limit. Let's call it a day. What's going on? Why won't my avatar appear? Uh, well... Maybe the problem's your lack of talent. What did you say? Even if you are one of the Epitaph users, if you, the player, don't know how to use it, well, then it's pointless. Yeah, right. You two just aren't teaching me the right way. Listen, if you guys can't even keep your promise to me, then the deal that I had with GU is off. Idiot. If you can't summon an avatar, then we don't need you to help us now. <clears throat> Come on, Pi. That's enough. Let's just call it a day, all right? All right. Let's head back, okay? Oh, no surprise attack against the boss. That's okay, though. We still got an S rank over the whole thing. Third word, cat's eye. Ooh. Also, why is this AO just so angry? He's just so grumpy. Don't worry about it. We don't expect you to awaken that easily. Better luck next time. Uh, anyway, just rest up for now. When you've got your stamina back, we'll give it another shot and try again. Well, see ya. Frankly, I'm glad that you weren't able to summon your avatar. Kuhn and I. Now do you understand why we needed two Epitaph users to support you? No. It's so we'll have enough power to suppress your avatar in the event it should go out of control or something. Suppress? Yes. If your avatar went berserk, we would not have hesitated to use Data Drain on you. In order to stop you. No matter what effect it may have had on you. Well, that's just cruel. Is it? Great risk comes with strength that is too powerful. Huh? Neither Kuhn, nor myself, can completely control the power of our avatars. Power that has escaped its user's hand will do nothing but destroy. This power really shouldn't even be used at all in the first place. But you, you plan to use that power. Am I wrong? If you had gotten your avatar, you would be thrilled to use it even if it was the exact same power that hurt those that are most precious to you. You seem to know me well. 
Well, of course I do. It comes natural to me, don't you see? You and I are very much alike. Huh? I think it would be best if you didn't get involved in these matters anymore. Summoning an avatar won't make you happy. That I know for certain. You don't want me to get involved, huh? Well, for your information, if I could do that, I wouldn't be in the mess I'm in right now. She's wrong, by the way. Having that avatar would make me so happy. I would run around and data drain everything. <laughs> oh, it would be grand. Um, we could go buy stuff. I have a lot of money. I think we're low enough level that it doesn't really matter, though. Actually, buying, like, some smoke screens would be pretty freaking good. That'd be a really good idea. Um... Yeah, I can trade some of my stuff. Let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, we have so many sub robes. I think the sub robes don't actually have any abilities in them. They also have no stats. So if we look at... Okay, if we look at trading away five sub, ro sub robes, what can we get from this guy? Can we get all of his smoke screens? Yes. Uh, wait. Wrath rings? Wings? That'd be really cool, you know, at the end of the game, in 40 hours from now or whatever, when we <laughs> can actually wield it. Um... Yeah, let's take everything. Wow. Okay, wait, can we remove? Oh yeah, one suburb is like way more than enough for this. Or do we have to fill the bar? We actually have to fill the bar, don't we? That's right, okay. Sorry, it's been a long time since I've actually had to trade anything. We could also trade, like, one of our necklaces or something. The simple ones aren't going to have anything slotted into them. So, if we tank that, that's not really adding too much. Neither is that. Well, don't know if this is a good trade or not, but we're getting a bunch of junk out of our inventory and we're experiencing the trading interface for a little bit. So we actually have to have a full bar in order to negotiate the trade. So 56 smoke screens and two fairy orbs and we're getting rid of all of our sub robes. I don't know the actual values of any of those, but it doesn't matter, whatever. It's fine, it's fine for now. Now we have smoke screens. Now we can run away if anything really bad happens. Is there anybody else I want to trade with? Rudolph, hello, do you want to trade? A health scroll would be kind of cool. Learn Repth. I mean, we already know Repth. I already used a health scroll, so... Maybe not the most important thing. <laughs> Again, what's with all this, like, really high-level stuff? I guess you're trading it away because you're not high-level, so you have no value for it yet, or something? Rip Duck. Do we have Rip Duke right now? What can I do? I do, I have it. Okay. Rudolph. Ryder Chiob. What do you have? Curse Altair and Poison Altair. Cool, cool, cool. Wise Dragon again. Okay, alright. Max Burst. Ooh, blue. Did we talk to you? I don't think we traded with you. 
Dawnbird Scroll. Cure Sleep. That might be a good thing to get. Can we swing it? Is there any way we can manage getting that from you? Probably not. Although, maybe. Um. Oh gosh, Ulm shells are worth a stupid amount. Okay, alright, I like that. There we go, that's fun. I learned a new spell. Um... <laughs> Cool. I don't remember the spell learning thing being in the game before. Oh, that's really cool. So I don't know if this was always in the base game or if this is only in the remake. Or like if it was in volume three and they ported it backwards. I just don't quite remember. Okay, avalanche scroll. Can we trade Ulm shells? Because we have a lot of those. <laughs> Holy cow, okay. Um, can I get anything else out of you? Oh wow, those are like... 200 to one person or 200 to all allies? Those are really good. Uh, no, I think that's fine, though. That's a good trade. I mean, I don't know if it's a good trade. It's a trade. I am satisfied with it. That's all that matters. Ganbolg! Oh, my gosh. I say, you're going to learn so many spells. It's going to be great. Um, Let's log out. We'll read our emails and stuff as we wrap up this video. Three more important emails. Good grief. Also, because we got Pi's member address, Hobby, Serving Yata, Favorite Things, Master Yata, Her Obsession, Master Yata, What? You got a problem? Not gonna worry about that too much. Oh gosh, so many things. Oh, look at that, we're a guild master. Okay. Pi, Ari, who are you? Just who are you anyway, lady? Do you not get how cryptic you sound? And we got a uh, friendliness increase. Our, our uh, rating with Pi has gone up. That's something. That's a good benefit and it gives you feedback and it tells you that's what's happening when you're doing these emails. It's very cool. I'm afraid you're the one who doesn't understand yourself. I'm not telling you to understand everything right away. Just be aware that there are many things you don't know. I don't care what Master Yata said. Don't get too carried away. Now that you're part of GU, I won't allow you to do anything foolish. This is not a game for us. It, it literally is, though. It's literally a game. We're inside a video game. The world is a video game. Do you not realize that? You're in a video game. It's a game for everybody. Everybody who's in the world, they're in a game. It's a game for you. Ah. I will have you follow our directions. That is the quickest way for you to understand what you claim to be cryptic. And please, stop taking your emotions out on me like a child. I would advise you to think long and hard about your goals and interests and what is best for them. Are there any players besides Shino who fill in the comas or avatars and the special characters called epitaph users that can use them? What is this project you kept telling me about? We'll, we'll ask about that. That seems more in line with asking about things that she would know about or be willing to talk about because it's, it's something she's also kind of interested in. Interesting. All right, cool. So around GU, Kuhn, we asked him, what does GU stand for? And he goes, it's, uh, um, actually, I don't really know. I'm not actually employed by CC Corp. I was just a regular player. If anything, I'm more like you than them. There's lots of things they haven't told me. As for getting used to your avatar, well, there's no need to rush. It's not like me or Pi could use our av avatars well right away. 
Can you tell me more about Pi? Yeah, we'll ask about Pi. CC Corporation is responding with a Guildmaster change request. Oh gosh. Dear Haseo, thank you for your regular patronage of the world. You have fulfilled the guild, or we have fulfilled the Guildmaster change request. Guild name, Canard. Guildmaster name, Haseo. First, we recommend that you go to your town and enter your guilds at home. From there, try talking to the NPC admin. Guildmasters are endowed with several unique authorities in order to manage their guilds. Please always remember that power and responsibility are intricately linked, and we hope that you fulfill your responsibilities to the world. If you're not sure why you received this email, blah, 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 blah. Guildmaster, huh? Well, I guess I'll go All to right, Adam, cool. Then. So that's what we got to go do. Go check out being a Guildmaster. I finished registering the change for the Guildmaster. You should get an email from CC Corp about it. Just to remind you, Canard's goal is to help out beginners by giving them support. We don't concentrate on leveling up and stuff like that. What's truly important cannot be expressed with parameters. As far as we're concerned, what's important is consideration. Well, that's what Kuhn always used to say. <sighs> and Gaspard. To our new guildmaster, congrats! Let's both do our best and make Canard the best guild around! Oh, guilds aren't exclusive, so you can join another one without having to quit Canard. Oh, so you can actually be in multiple guilds? Interesting. So we could maybe actually really be in Raven, for example, or convince, I don't know, a Moon Tree guild member to come join us? Something like that? Interesting. Well, we will go check out our new Guildmaster powers in the next video. Thank you all for joining me, everyone, and may the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.